So Dr. Sears, today we're going to talk about understanding metabolic engineering. So with that, could we just start by de defining what metabolic engineering is? Well, metabolic engineering is the ability to use the diet to go in and reprogram the metabolism in each of your 30 trillion cells. That's a lot of cells. Mm -hmm. uh, and so drugs can't do that, but the diet can. And so uh, metabolic engineering has really been, I've been working on the subject now for nearly 40 years. It become, it's a really an evolutionary subject because the more we understand the molecular biology of metabolism, it gives us new insights of how we can apply diet to make that metabolism become most efficient. And so when you talk about the diet, what do you need the diet to look like um, in order to control you know, your metabolism? Well, uh, again, uh, when we talk about the diet, we talked about earlier saying what causes insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. It's a pro-inflammatory diet. It's either too many of things you should be having, like too many calories, uh, or things you're not getting enough of, like omega-3 fatty acids, or having the wrong balance of protein to carbohydrate. You say, oh my goodness gracious, you're causing my mind to explode. So many things to worry about. Well, that's because metabolism is complex. Mm -hmm. But if you basically can now put together an easy to follow system for a lifetime, you have the ultimate drug. A drug because most of our common, our chronic diseases come from and are strongly associated with insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. And if our diet can basically eliminate insulin resistance, how will that affect chronic diseases? decrease them dramatically. Mm -hmm. But you have to use this drug for a lifetime. Now, uh, that being said, is saying once I master it, I've got the keys to the kingdom to living a longer and better life if I want to use those keys. So ultimately, if somebody kind of follows the pathway of metabolic engineering and changing their diet, is is the goal for them to control insulin resistance and, and you know, get this HOMA IR in the right range? Or what do you see the goal being? Well, the goal is basically to basically um, make your metabolism most effective. Mm -hmm. Now, do we have a blood test for that? How, how can you do that unless you can test it? Right. That, we do have a blood test. It's called HOMA IR. Uh, and if that number uh, is less than one, your metabolism in your each of your 37 uh, trillion cells is perfecto. Now, if it's more than two, you've got insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. And the higher the number, the more bleak your health future. So your goal is saying, I want to now take my diet, regardless of my dietary philosophy, and adjust it so my home IR is always less than one. That's my now my marker of wellness. And how do you personalize the diet? What, is, what does a day look like for somebody? Well, it depends. It, it, first, the first thing is saying there's really, as you know, metabolic engineering viewed as one, two, three. Step one, you need adequate protein at every meal. Now, what's adequate protein? It's about 30 grams of protein. Now, why? Because it's that amount of protein that shuts down hunger. We hear a lot of talk about, say, oh, I'm using the new wonder drug. Well, the protein, if you get 30 grams of protein at a meal, it will generate the same hormones that you're injecting in these new injectable drugs. Wow. And so I'll oh, say, well, okay, that's step one. Now, easier said than done. Easy to do at dinner, hard to do at lunch, almost impossible at breakfast. Mm -hmm. But that's what your goal is, getting 30 grams of protein. And that's about the amount you can put on the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. No more, but no less. Now. What about my dietary philosophy? Well, it doesn't matter. You can be a vegan, a lacto-ovo vegetarian, or omnivore. Your choices are different, but you can get 30 grams of protein at every meal. Now, that's step one. Step two, I've got to balance it. That's why I have to have some carbohydrates. Which ones? Well, here are the ones you don't want. The white carbohydrates, you know, the white bread, uh, the, um, the white pasta the um, white potatoes, the white rice. Why? Because they basically will now cause your carburation of the metabolism to be not uh, be unwieldy. What are the best carbohydrates? Veggie. They're called vegetables. That's so like your grandmother said, you can't leave the table until you eat all your vegetables. Now, why? One, it's hard to overconsume vegetables. Mm -hmm. Two, vegetables are very rich in basically fermentable uh, fibers. Now, fibers are saying, well, what's that good for? It turns out we know a lot more, that they are being metabolized by the microbes in our gut 
to make new signaling uh, compounds that make the protein to stop hunger even more effective. So you've got a winning combination there of having the right amount of protein, not more, not less, balanced by a lot of non-starchy vegetables to get a one-two punch to stop hunger. What's the third part? You've got to add some fat. Oh, I love fat. Good. It's a dash of fat, but not just any fat. You want fat that basically is really monounsaturated fat. That could be extra virgin olive oil. It could be almonds. It could be guacamole. And there you have it. And that's how you basically begin to control uh, your diet. But there's more, as they say in information. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> because there's other things which we are deficient in American diets. One is omega-3 fatty acids. Mm -hmm. uh, we get a plenty of omega-6 fatty acids. We need some, but definitely not too much. So for most Americans, they'll have to supplement their diet with basically fish oil supplements to get a better balance of omega-6 to omega-3. And finally, we also have another thing that deficient in our diets. They're called polyphenols. These are the chemicals I said earlier that give fruits and vegetables their color. So how many fruits and vegetables do I have to eat each day to get enough polyphenols? About 10 servings. And that's a lot. <laughs> most most Americans, get, they're lucky to get 10 servings per month, <laughs> let alone per day. So a supplementation with polyphenols also makes sense. Mm -hmm. But say, well, but everybody's different. Right. right. And that's why we can use the blood, the blood to adjust each of those three components of metabolic engineering. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, we now can personalize for a person's unique biochemistry and their genetics and also their dietary philosophy. I love that. I love the personalization that it's not a one size fits all. Plus, as a dietitian, I personally love that you're doing the lean proteins and a lot of veggies um, and fruits. So we know at the molecular level, you know, how following this eating plan works. But in addition to the metabolic advantages, what other benefits would people see by implementing um, this dietary program, do you think? Well, how about burning fat faster? Who doesn't love that? <laughs> exactly. Because at the molecular level, inside each of those 30 trillion cells, there's a master switch. A master switch is called AMPK. And the goal of metabolic engineering is to activate AMPK in each of those 30 trillion cells. So one of the things AMPK does, if activated, it burns fat faster. Now, it also controls your gene expression. It also controls your immune system. It also controls every aspect of our method. It's like the great and powerful Oz, you know, saying, uh, say pushing the levers and saying, if I could only basically give AMPK the right dietary tools, it can do wonders for us, but on the, but the swing door swings both ways. Mm -hmm. If I inhibit AMPK by eating too many calories, or too many omega six fatty acids, or not enough polyphenols, it says I'm going I'm, I'm going to sleep. Mm -hmm. You're on your own. Yeah. What about you know some of the things you talked about in the past? So the the burn fat faster is great. What about the mental clarity and focus? Will you still see that? I know that's something you've always talked about before with the with the zone diet. Well, remember I said we have 30 trillion cells in our body, mm -hmm. and each cell we have maybe 500 to 2,000 mitochondria. Now the mitochondria are the actual what are called organelles that basically convert our food to energy. Now consider them to be the batteries, the batteries of each cell in your body. So what happens when you have a remote control and the batteries run down? No more energy. It doesn't work yeah. very well. So, so again, if I want more mental energy or more physical energy, I've got to recharge those batteries. Mm -hmm. And guess what controls the recharging of those batteries in each of your 37 trillion cells? AMPK. You got it. <laughs> and, and that's why our original work was done with people who live in a world of inflammation by choice. And these are called elite athletes. They live in a world of inflammation by choice because of the intensity of their training and by the, basically the, uh, the damage caused by competition. So they became the ideal test subjects to say, can metabolic engineering improve their performance? And now we can say after 30 uh, years in both uh, in several, many, many Olympics and many, many professional sports, the answer is yes. If it can improve the performance of an, a professional athlete, it can improve the performance of the in individual 
What does it mean? It says, I'm thinking more clearly throughout the day. I have the energy to make my brain cells work more effectively. Uh, and also, I'm basically, uh, you know, more focused uh, in terms of saying, I can just basically, you know, everything is clear, it's sharp, it's not foggy. Mm -hmm. So again, so the thing is, most people say, yes, I want to basically lose weight. No, you want to lose excess body fat. Right. Second thing, I want to be have more energy, mental and physical. Okay, same technology. The same technology allows you to lose fat faster, allows you to basically be smarter and perform better. And the third thing you get, I live longer and I live better. I say, okay, that's not a bad trade-off. Mm -hmm. But basically you have to have some skin in the game. Yeah. You have to understand what the rules are and they haven't changed in hundreds of millions of years. But we have basically the challenge to say, can we provide the right of metabolic engineering personalized to the individual and their dietary philosophy that allows them to maximize everything they want to squeeze out of life. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and while the, the terminology might sound complex with metabolic engineering, and there's a lot going on at the molecular level, it, it's not that hard to get this going and actually apply it into what you're doing day in and day out on your diet. And obviously, like what you just said, the, the benefits are well worth it. Well, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a habit. Mm -hmm. Habits can either be good habits or bad habits. Uh, it's very easy to get in the bad habits. It's hard to get in the good habits. Right. Uh, but a good habit say, why do I want to do this? I'll say, I don't want to have excess body fat. Check. Uh, I want to have more mental and um, more mental and physical performance throughout the day. Check. I want to live longer. Check. I want to decrease the likelihood of developing a chronic disease. Check. Okay, that's the reasons why you want to do this. Right. Now, uh, from, a, you know, uh, from a functional standpoint, as we talked about, it's not that hard once you basically buy into the concept. Mm -hmm. And again, that's why we had to have, the, we talk about the science of wellness. We have everybody say, well, I am, I'm a science guru, I'm a biohacker, saying, please, please, don't, don't embarrass yourself. Show me the science. The science of metabolism is incredibly complex. But you know, we've been now basically being able to nibble at the ends and say, okay, now we know how to basically turn that key for everyone so they can experience the benefits of basically being in the zone and basically being in the wellness zone. Well, I think everything you said is very convincing for anybody listening today. And uh, thanks so much for your time and enlightening us on uh, the topic of metabolic engineering. Thank you very much. For more on this subject and many other topics on the science of wellness, go to drsears.com.